Hello YouTube, welcome back. I'm Ursa Ryan. A blackout again. Oh no, it's it's all kicking off, I tell you, in our in our sort of seemingly idyllic little place of Taysborough, um, which for some reason isn't skipping forward at rapid speed. Oh, it's because we just got a milestone, isn't it? Literally just as we um oh that's not the button I want. Well oh, that's zoomed us out massively. Uh hang on. Milestone we got just while uh, literally the last episode was finishing was this one. We can now change taxes, we can get loans. That would have helped us out massively, wouldn't it? But never mind. Um, we've also got garbage, healthcare and education, which you might think, yay, that's really good. But actually, it just means there are more ways now to screw up. So um, we'll deal with that in a second. Um, fingers crossed. I, I don't remember when you can, you can name zones. Here we go. It's Worthy Village. There we go. And we're going to start naming our places. Um, and I'm going to sort of just follow off. Uh, places from our local, you know, from, from my childhood. Uh, if you ever want to check them out on Google Maps, you can see what you think of them. But um, places that I grew up in uh, that are, are just sort of seemingly quite sweet. But here we go. Um, right, now we are over here. Now we have got a chronic lack of power here. Not enough electricity. What is going on? It's covered by electricity. Ah, electricity consumption is now higher then it's production. Okay, fine. So, I've got a choice. I could either build more uh, wind turbines or I could get one of these power stations in. And I think, personally, getting a power station in would do me quite well. So, let's plug that power station in. It's going to cost 19000 but we've got lots of money at the moment. And that will provide enough power to keep us going for a long time. Here we go. Look, 47. Wow. Coal power production. Beautiful. Now, if that doesn't keep everyone happy, I don't know what will. Um, the next thing, which is sort of the most immediate crisis, is we need a bin lorry. We need someone to come in and collect the garbage. Um, now, we've got two areas that need sort of refuse collection. Uh, we've got lots of one-way streets, which we've got to be a little bit careful of here. So, I think the best thing to do is to have a little sort of offshoot off the roundabout here. And we'll get the services all from sort of area down here. Now we're cutting ourselves off, but once we've got motorways um, and we have bought a little bit more land, there'll be better ways to sort of get ourselves, um, you know, in and around the area. So I'm not, I'm not overly worried about that. But here we go. Uh, this is a, a landfill site, so we'll just pop this here. It does create a little bit of a uh, pollution. But never mind. Uh, I mean, I, I just got to double check we are, we're not polluting the areas we're going to ultimately grow into. Oh, now that it's night, it's very difficult to tell. But I think, you know what, I think we'll be fine. We'll have to, we'll have to make do with what we've, what we've got. Um, we'll, we'll plunk in here. Uh, there we go, keep it as far away as possible. And there we go. And now you can see all the bin lorries will all leave. Fantastic. Hang on, can I click on one? There we go. Can I follow it? Is it going to let me follow it? Ah! Ah! Stop moving! Stop moving! Okay, right. There we go. Ah, it'll let me follow it now, and it'll just sort of go down into Taysbro- and there we go, look, it's just collected all of the rubbish, and now it's going to go back. Fantastic. All the way back to the to the site. Um, there we go. So, that that's one minor crisis averted. Uh, we've got a bit of a housing problem, though. We really, really need more housing. So, let's go back into the districts area I don't want I don't want this place to get too big to be honest um, but I think for now it's all I've kind of got so we'll have to we'll have to let it build out we go just little blocks of two it really isn't the prettiest area but it's just my starting area so it'll have to do so first thing I'm gonna do just to help with the land uh, the housing crisis is to remove some houses you know, solid start. Uh, and then we will put some of that. Like so. And then, there we go. More area. Beautiful. Now that should be plenty to expand into. Absolutely plenty to expand into. Oh, and as the sun rises on our beautiful place. Oh, look at that. It's just nothing but haze. The wind coming across. All the trees blowing. Got B. What's, what's B? The drugstore. Oh, all the drugs. Oh no, Big Bite restaurant. Big bite. That sounds quite nice. Oh, it's a burger restaurant. Two burger restaurants, but next to each other. Again, I don't know who's in charge of the planning. It probably, it's probably me, isn't it? But whoever's in charge of the planning really did not think this through. But never mind. Uh, I would think that fresh water is basic stuff, but no. Oh, pipes. Pipes, pipes, pipes. We forgot to uh, connect the new place up to pipes. Oops. It's 
Sorry, guys. There you go. It's a bit better, isn't it? Now you're happy. Uh, right. This new building, the medical clinic. Again, we, we just need to sort of make sure that we've serviced all of our place. It's been just sticking a little medical clinic in our village. That'll do nicely. Um, that'll stop everyone from getting too ill. So, pop that down. Hey, and everyone's happy. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, we also need to put down an elementary school, which we don't have enough money for. But because we're, we're, we're sort of playing the game in rapid speed, we'll build up the money fairly quickly. So, we'll pop that down in a second. Um, the, the bigger we get, the more people we have, the faster we will um, we'll make money. So that's not too much of an issue. Unless we sort of starts going down. It's going back up now. But um, I don't know what's going on there. Ah, oh, look, it, it's our little, it's a quaint little village. I mean, it's, it really is a grid village. And I, I want to make this as, as sort of... Um, as sort of British as possible, really. So I don't want to sort of keep it very gritty because nothing in Britain actually works like that. We are very much a place of, um, how best to put it, just sort of weeb wibbly wobbly lines and roundabouts and sort of massive turns and that sort of thing. So that's what I'm going to try and do. What I have done though is I've managed to sort of block off my motorway. So do we have, when do we unlock the motorways? Here we go, the highway. Population of 2,000. Alright, so we're not going to unlock that for a little bit. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. What we should do is we should make this into a sort of separate system, I'm thinking. If I zoom out a little bit, we've got a lot of space to put a nice little pretty village up in, up in the forests and, and the hills up here. I think that would be quite fun. That's where I'm going to look to build, but it's just sort of more of how, how do we get round... And I think the easiest way of doing it is to turn this into sort of like a, a diverted path to come to this roundabout. And to have a second path sort of splitting out that sort of goes over to... Yeah, that might work. That might actually work. Um, first of all, let's just put an elementary school down. Because we need to pop one of those down. We were saving up for that, weren't we? There we go. Like that. Beautiful. Beautiful indeed. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to flesh out... We'll put a few more shops in. You know what? If you want to have a have a high street down here, that's absolutely fine. But to be honest, I think housing is probably the biggest issue here. Huh? Just put some in here and here. There you go. I, wanna, I don't want to sort of leave the area too much. What does building look like in the middle of... Oh, it's, it's so cool. I love playing on, on super speed. It is, it is really good fun. Oh, the factories over here. I haven't even looked at these places. Oh, look at this one. Williams. Oh, and a worthy village. There we go. And we can name districts now. Oh, beautiful. That's really cool. Okay, right. Now, what we're we going to do is we've got police department, fire department, forestry, lots of different places. All right. And we can actually purchase a new area. That's quite cool. So I have to have a think about that. I'll wait until daytime before we do that because otherwise I'm not going to be able to tell. If you look at the map, I mean, it's like, oh, oh great. That could, that could be literally anything there, but never mind. Um, so, now that we've built a little bit more money going through that milestone, I think the best thing to do is to name the district. So, I'll show you this quickly. Here we go. Here's the districts tool. What we can do is we can name this whole area. So, large brush. It's all very straight lines, and it's sort of everything is built upon one big main road with all the shops on it. Now, in my local area, the local village that was very much like that, and for years and years and years and years and years, and years they were campaigning for, like, a by-road past them. And it was called Long Stratton, and it was really... Oh, it was just an absolutely horrible place. I still have very, very poor memories of it. It really is sort of, um... in the middle of, sort of, Norfolk countryside, just where all hope comes to die sort of place but we'll, we'll name it after that because it's not the prettiest of places so again if you want to want to check out where these places actually are um then feel free long stratton there we go oh is that not changed no i've got to i've got to do something long stratton like that there we go beautiful and now do you see it's sort of actually named that's quite cool. It also means that we can we can change the sort of the zoning and, and then how all the different rules are implemented later in the game. So that's quite cool. But it does mean that the village of Teesborough, we're going to make a far more idyllic. It's going to be up on this hill. And to do that, we're going to have to, as I said, build a, some sort of crazy road system that will do that for us. Um, now, 
Again, a one-way road is going to be the easiest way of doing this. And a four, a six-lane, one-way road. That's absolutely freaking massive. Oh, I love it. I do love it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get one of these going. I, again, I, I have a feeling we're gonna completely completely cock up everything. But we'll get it going off here. Space already occupied. It's gonna let us. Hang on. Yeah, it will let us. Fantastic. Right. So what we're going to do, if I press, is it page up? There we go. It creates a slope like that. And then, hang on, we're going to have to use the three, the curved road tool. There we go, like this. You know what, hang on, let's pause this quickly, because we're going to take out some power lines here. There we go, like that. And then... Go, pop it over the top of the road. Like this. And then down the other side. So we'll just we go. Uh, up, up, yeah, and then page down from there. Ah, glorious. There we go. Right. So an alternative path of the road will go up this way. I really shouldn't be doing this in the middle of the night. And you know what, maybe we'll just we'll let it play because in the middle of the night is not a good time to be doing this. Um, and then this will just sort of come nice and straight to here. Although actually, yeah, electricity. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, people. I didn't mean it. I did not mean it. I'm very sorry. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? I have to go around this way now. There you go, like that. Sorry, guys. That's a bit better. So back onto building the road. Oh, you know what? No, we're going to have to pause it because, unfortunately, we are, again, beginning to hemorrhage money a little bit. So that's fine. All we were going to do is going to get a roundabout going. One of these. And we'll base it, like, here. You know what? We're not going to have enough, we're not going to have the project money to do this. So we're going to have to extend Long Stratton out just a little bit quickly. So let's do that. Um... Okay, just two runs that way. Build it over to this road there. Like so. It really is a horrible grid system, but that is that is long stratum for you right there. And um, we'll get this coming. And you know what? We'll make this whole central area a shopping a shopping road. A shopping lane. Here we go. Right, um, hang on, no, that's not what I want to do. I want to get the removal tool. There we go, and we'll move all of this, all of that, and we'll replace it with some commercial area, like so, and then we'll build residential onto the rest of it. Right, that should hopefully be ample to keep the happiness going. We need to keep the growth going, because otherwise we're just not going to have the money to build the place. We actually, we could take out a loan, couldn't we? We can take out a loan. Right, we'll have to think about doing that. Here we go, right. Where'd you go? Oh no! Oh no, we're burning down! We are, it's a, the shop is burning down! Oh no, that's terrible! That's terrible, we don't have a fire service. Well, there we go, that would have been a good thing to build. Uh, how much do we need to build that? 12,000. Oh, we have nowhere near that. Right, hang on. Speed the time up again. We can have two loans. We can take out. Oh! We can take out 20 grand and 60 grand. I think that would probably be acceptable, actually. So we take out the 20 grand one. And that will give us the money to build a fire station. There we go. And we'll put the fire station... Where should we put it? Again, in a nice central location. We'll pop that one here. There we go. Um, again, that'll stop everything from burning down too quickly. Ah, uh, here we go. Right, so again, this is this, this whole area is where I want to populate. So, the roundabout needs to be roughly, roughly here. There we go. And then we'll bulldoze all the extra roads off it. Nicely refunds for us. There we go, like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a system of roundabouts, and we're going to make this a very squiggly place. But by using lots, of, utilizing lots and lots of roundabouts, fingers crossed. We should be able to avoid a lot of the traffic problems a little later. So if I put another roundabout here. 
go, like so. And then the slope's too steep, is it? Is it? Oh, I should be able to fit another one here. There you go, there's one up here as well. So let me just get rid of this. So we'll just put some more zoning in just over here because again we want to keep we want to keep the growth going while we're not really looking. Because it helps uh, it helps the money income massively. There we go, we'll fill that one in as well. Build! Build Long Stratton, build! Um, okay, so we've got three roundabouts, and this is going to be the central sort of communication and, and transport network around the place. We don't want too many junctions, because if we have too many junctions, it'll get a bit crazy. Um, but what we can do is now hook up. Hook up. There we go. So, uh, where was our... Where was our majig? Where was our majig -a jig There we go. Right, six. six five. This is an excessive motorway. It really is. Well, actually, no, look. This goes both ways. Oh, awesome. That's really, that's handy. That's really handy. All right, so if we build this and just put it straight onto there. Like so, quick, replace the power, replace the power. I know, I know, I know, I've learned that lesson. I've learned the lesson. Okay, right, good, we're back up and running. So that's one way, and then we're just going to get the other direction going as well. So roads, get back onto this, and then we'll... Should we put it over the industrial zone? Yeah, we should. That'll look quite cool. Right, again, we'll keep the curved roads just to keep it... Try and keep everything with a little bit of character. Right, and then page up. Like that. And hopefully, we should be able to build... Oh, not enough money. Not enough money. Right, hang on. We'll take out that other loan. We've got tons of money coming in, so we can afford the loan. So here we go. Another 60 grand to spend. Here we go. Perfect. So, get the road back open. Perfect. Over the top of our industrial era. And then we'll page down. Like so. And we'll connect it up. Ah, there we go. That is the most horrendously disgusting transport network you've ever seen, but never mind. Never mind. What it means is that we can now focus on actually building up the village of Tezbra. Tezbra! But not before. Not before. Oh my god, power, power, power. What's happening with the power? Oh no, we've missed. Oh, we blocked the connection out again, didn't we? Oh, rubbish, 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 rubbish. Right, here we go. We need to stop doing that. <laughs> we desperately, because every time I do it, it hemorrhages money again. Never mind, uh, a police station. Oh yeah, we were going to put one in. Oh look, Long Stratton already, just leaving it alone, has turned into a bastion of crime and disgustingness. I can't tell you how real that is. <laughs> it's very... <laughs> I'm very damning of Long Stratton, but uh, it, was not a, it was not a place that caused me much happiness in my childhood. It really wasn't. Um, so here we go. Long Stratton, again, we'll, we'll just kind of, we'll keep it coming, I think, for now. It all comes in on one location, so I think that we don't want to make it too big. That is the big issue. Because if we make it too big, the problem is, is that the traffic's going to just absolutely, absolutely suffocate. Yeah, just extend the district out like that. Should we have a look at Long Stratton? How big is it? Population of 1,260. Very good. Very good indeed. However, Tazebra's calling, and is far more interesting. So, here we go. We'll get back to normal roads. But actually, what we'll do, we'll just keep it with normal roads. We're going to have a nice, nice village-esque path. I think, I think in the trees will be a lovely place to have a little village. Hey, tiny town. Woo, that's cool. We've got a high school, a new education building, a pet band, smoking band, parks and recreation. Oh, wow, this is going to get very complicated very quickly. Amsterdam Palace, the Gherkin. Oh, my God, these are so many things. Oh, I love this. Oh, this game is so brilliant. Um, let's not get distracted. Let's build Let's build the nice little village of, of, of Tazebra itself. Here we go. So, we'll build with these little wibble, wibbly wobbly roads. These are quite fun. Space already occupied. I know, right? I know. Come on. It's only a roundabout. Right, come on. 
coming out this way. No, you're not going to let me? Why are you letting me? Right, let's try it the other way in. Sometimes it... There we go. I don't know why. Right, so that's this sort of area. There we go. Right. So, have this sort of looping round the forest here. There we go. It's going to be all in the middle of the trees. It's going to be beautiful. So have this coming around here. Back through the trees this way. And then cutting back and connecting to the roundabout. And that's the important thing. Our entire village is going to have all roundabout connections. This is how we're going to keep ourselves traffic free and beautiful. The British love our roundabouts and for good reason. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what's that? Get rid of that. Disgusting. Come on, let's try again. It's a bit better. I mean, that's definitely not roundabout shaped, but never mind. Um, and we'll just get a little, a few, few little junctions. We don't, we don't want too many side roads. That's the thing. We want enough to keep it interesting. So here we go. Like that. Got another one coming along to here. Go like that. Oh, it looks. I don't know what it looks like. That's a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> it's, a, it's a very unusual shape. But never mind. It's, it's the starting of the village. It's, it's, it's just the start. That's the important thing. So we'll start to, do, to to make some residential area here. So here we go. We'll uh, use the block fill. Uh, actually, we'll use the big brush, the broad brush, and we'll start. We'll start with this area in and amongst the trees over here. There we go. Beautiful. This is going to be idyllic, I tell you. Absolutely beautiful. We'll come around all the way into here. Very good, like that. Splendid. Get the water network set up now. Again, if we follow the major roads, we should, hopefully, catch just about everything. Like so. That'll do. Uh, oh, actually, no, we need a little bit more here. There we go. Beautiful. And then this comes to here. And then this goes to there. Beautiful. Right, I think that's about it. Wonderful. Power is the next biggest issue. So again, we'll get a line just running from the industrial area to here. There we go. And that's all hooked up. And then last but not least, we are going to name this beautiful area. And this itself is going to be called Taysborough. It's going to be infinitely more pretty. Rosewood Square. No, no, that's a terrible name. Here we go. Taz. Ah, beautiful. And hopefully people are going to flood in in their droves. How's on Stratton getting along? Seems to be doing all right, filling up nicely. Again, the traffic is, uh, there's a lot of parking on the streets, but traffic doesn't seem to be particularly slow, which is good. Uh, this power line, I don't know, oh, you know what, I need to get rid of this. This is not good. There we go. That's a bit neater, isn't it? You can see here, I don't actually need the power lines whilst they're inside the, the zones here. It all kind of links up. It's quite nice. So we can take out a lot of power lines a little bit later, like this one. Oh, no. Oh, that's a road. No, no, no. no. Oh, I've taken out completely the wrong one now. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. Sorry. 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 Didn't mean to. There we go. Don't be mad at me. Beautiful. Oh, it's a splendid little place, isn't it? So, we should have a fairly sort of separate system. So the main roads can go here and you can get to Taysborough without actually going into the traffic system along Stratton. It is the most disgusting road network I've ever created. We'll have to come back and we'll have to neaten this out in a bit. I think, to be honest, re redoing this whole area is not, is not a bad idea. Um, but... That, that's something to, to worry about in a little bit. We need more shops. We need more shops. Here we go. So, should we put, should we make Long Stratton into a little bit more of a shoppy area? 
Or should we... I think, to be honest, I think Taser should probably get a few shots. Hang on. Right, we'll get... Get some of these main roads to be shops. There we go. So this one here. You can have some shops. And then coming down this one here as well. Like that. Beautiful. Right, should we keep building? So, Tazebra, again, we just need to sort of flesh out to this, this last roundabout here for now. So, here we go. We'll uh, come up from here. We'll go to Wibbly Wobbly Roads. Like so. Okay, right. And then we'll come back onto this hill. We're going we're gonna to have great fun with this hill. We'll sort of sneak up the hill like you would in very sort of mountainous areas and it should have quite a nice effect once we've done like so so too steep I know I know it's fine you'll be fine have faith gotta have faith there we go and there Beautiful. And if you well, zoom in a bit, you can see it really is cut into the side of the mountain now. Which is quite cool. The mountain. I am a Norfolk boy. You're going to have to apologise for this. So, like, any any form of, like, mild incline in the road is, to me, it's like, Oh, it's like, it's a mountain! Jesus! It's so tall! I can't see the other side of it! It must be a mountain! It, it's really funny. Sarah is from, from Yorkshire, where they actually have big hills and, and proximity to mountains and, and whatnot. And, um, I just... It just, it, it's all, it's all wondrous and, and beautiful to me, I tell you. Um, right, here we go. So, I think, to be honest, we're kind of low on, on housing demand at the moment. So, Tazebra, Tazebra will, will just be what it is for now. And you can see, oh, look, everything's all in the, in the trees. It's all very pretty. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, it's going to be ideal. It's going to be utopia. Except from this business district, like, on the side of it. But never mind, it's sort of... It's near, but not too near. And that's the important thing. There we go. So, let's uh, build a little bit more road in. Hang on. Oh, no. That's not what I want to do. Fill tool. There we go. We need a bit more industrial area. Like so. There we go. And you can see lorries in, in their droves already beginning to um, sort of populate the area. Oh, we've, I just realised time is massively slowed down. Let's speed that up a bit. There we go. Um, oh, beautiful. This is absolutely awesome. Oh, and night falls once again. And you can see all the lights up the top of the hill up here. Taysborough. From, from above, Taysborough looks a lot more awesome. In fact, actually, look. Taysborough looks a little bit like a genie. Holding some, like holding a, a horn or something. Do you see, like the face up here, like little tail around here, little little, little bum patch, just for those genie-esque problems. And then, oh, that's brilliant. I love it. Oh, maybe I should spell something. That would be a little bit immature, but maybe I should. <gasps> that could be good fun. That could be really, just really immature. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to call the episode to a close here. Um. I, I, I don't know, what's what's the sort of shot? I mean, like, you can just see it from a distance here. Oh, it's very pretty. Very pretty indeed. Um, join me next time and hopefully the demand for new housing will increase and we can flesh out Taser a bit, put some commodities in um, and progress and possibly think about buying some new tiles. So until then, I'll see you next time. Bye!